This is Max Eternity, and I'm here with Del McLean at Cohen Park in East Atlanta. Uh, today is May Day, and the Occupy Movement is celebrating May Day uh, with a host of events, which started at Centennial Park. Uh, there was a march and demonstration there at Centennial Park in downtown Atlanta, and other events have moved to East Atlanta to Cohen Park, where there are workshops, uh, music, and uh, food and all sorts of other things happening here, including a booth that was set up by uh, Dale McLean of Cop Watch. Hi, Dale. Thanks for joining me. Hi. Thank you for having me. Um, Dale, if you could start by telling us uh, about Cop Watch, what it's about, and um, your participation with it. Cop Watch is simply a group of civilians that film the police and monitor the police in their interactions with people. Um, to prevent police brutality and to follow up with it if it does occur, or police misconduct. Um, that way, if the police violate someone's rights, there's a way to hold them accountable beyond just your word against them. Interesting. Um, and Cop Watch is uh, it's, it's here in Atlanta, but it's also in other places around the nation? Yeah, Cop Watch is on the West Coast. Uh, I believe Cop Watch started in Oakland with the Black Panthers in 1960. Um, but since then, a lot of different groups have done it um, all over the country, and uh, we've been doing it for about three years here in Atlanta. Very nice. And in relation to uh, today's uh, May 1st Occupy event, um, what happened for you today? What was your experience uh, with Occupy? Um, I believe you were at the demonstration earlier. Yes. So they, um, they asked Cop Watch to come uh, and do Cop Watch for the demonstration. Um, that way people would feel more comfortable and safe participating because hopefully it would be a deterrent towards the police breaking into laws. So, um, so they asked Cop Watch to come out. We came out with our orange shirt. Um, we had cameras. We just... Uh, Made your presence known. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as far as the, the, the police are concerned, are they aware of Cop Watch? Have you, is there any kind of relationship the there? Are aware of Cop Watch. Uh, since we've been doing it for a few years, a lot of police have personally been Cop Watched by us before. They're also aware of Cop Watch because there was a lawsuit uh, by Cop Watch against the APD a couple years back. Um, that the Atlanta Police Department. The, the APD. Atlanta Police mm -hmm. Department. Uh, ended up having to retrain all their officers wow. um, to not interfere with civilians filming or recording them, um, and a big settlement um, for Cop Watch. Wow. So uh, at this point, then, uh, we're pretty much on the police's radar, mm -hmm. and um, since then, it's gotten a lot easier for us, uh, people who wear the orange Cop Watch shirts, um, to film them without um, getting interfered with. Got you. And the shirt you're wearing is actually a shirt that you all um, offer to everyday yeah, citizens yeah. that they can buy. We have an orange shirt that says Cop Watch, Stop Police Brutality, and that we only wear when we are actually filming the cops and, and we're actually and on the Cop Watch patrol. Yeah. So, okay. um, but this is just a, you know, hey, I like Cop Watch, you can wear that even time. Right. So Occupy um, is now, you know, Occupy New York then became Oakland and Atlanta, and now it's like Occupy everywhere. Um, what does the Occupy mo movement mean for you, and what do you see it headed in the near future? Well, I've been an activist for about 13, 14 years, so to me it was an exciting time because it looked like this wellspring of um, excitement and momentum towards making a big change, um, and it seems like the word was getting out more and um, things were really getting rolling. So. As a longtime activist who's been present in times of, I guess, less activity, to me it meant, hey, here's an opportunity to really connect with a lot of people that for a lot of different various reasons have come together and said, hey, something is terribly, terribly wrong here. Um, so the chance to connect with people is what occupies me. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me, Dale. Thank you. Pleasure.